What's up guys, this is the Rifle and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Denmark uh, Total War. Let's play an Empire Total War. So, where we left off, was I am laying siege while I am assaulting uh, Stockholm, because we defeated the Swedish army generally on the field. We've not got these guys. They're going to be roaming around and causing a bit of problems. Um, but I have no doubt that we'll be able to figure out a way to deal with them somehow. It's more important we capture Stockholm than engage these forces. So without further ado, let's fight. Because one of the hope is that they'll they turn around and try and engage us, which would be interesting. We may have to raise more in Denmark, which would be temporary, because I don't think we'll have the economy to sustain them entirely. Um, but owning Stockholm will be a big boon, at least after a few turns. Once we've got the unhappiness dealt with, school demolished, I think we'll be okay. So, these guys are going to go for a breach. Maybe more like these guys. Pikes, Militia and Conscript. That would be a good mix, I think. Pike, Militia, Conscript. Because we do need to make a more fairly concerted effort to take advantage of our numbers. So four of them might go over here. I can't deploy on that flank, so I'll explain. I will expand my coverage on this side. Cavalry waiting, just in case they try something sneaky. General in the centre. Now let's pound away. a section of the wall. Probably speed up time because this is going to be a bit of a... So they're aiming at my general and my cavalry. Which is okay. The main problem will be... Ooh, they actually hit one of my cannons. They destroyed one of my gun teams. Let's move my cavalry in case that is their target. As long as you make a breach, that's what matters. Everything else is just gravy. But it all relies on these demi cannons doing some good work. Those were all misses. Which isn't great, because obviously we do need these guys to do work. Good, they're almost halfway there. Just want to make one hole over here, one hole over here. I'd like to send my pikes in first, because obviously they will do... Oh, they took out a tra trailing team. But they're moving around, so their cannon fire will become less effective. So a couple more volleys, and then I think we'll have definitely one way in. We'd very much like two. Good God, we killed their general. Must have been crossing the line. It's sad we're not going to kill most of these guys. But, take what we can get. And now let's move up. And these guys to be more over here. And these guys to more bash into this centre of the wall. Let's just speed up time a little bit more. Probably gonna need someone to hunker down in the gate. In case they seek to charge out of it. So something like this.
Maybe someone like... Do something like this. Because it's not uncommon for garrison troops to try and run out. Just like they are now. Let's get the pikes in. So I have bayonets, they they don't. So we should do a lot of damage to them. Even though my guys may be of lesser quality. They are still darn good. We have lots of troops here. In a bottleneck. line run these guys to go attack them in the rear especially as who are you wavering These guys are more or less going to hunker back here as filler. Conscripts run in. The militia run in. Pike should do lots of damage to these guys. And they should have lots of mental morale penalties for being attacked in the rear. Send these conscripts along to attack the provincial line. That's going to bring some of these guys over here. Something like that might be better. Let's try take the gate, but it's probably these guys that are causing the problems. So who are you? You're militia conscripts. Let's get those guys inside the house because they'll fire in all directions. Actually, that's a bad idea. Because they will fire into the backs of my pikes. So I probably want to do something like this. That's my line infantry along upon the walls. Soon. If we take the gatehouse, I want to storm these guys through the gate and lay them across here. As usual with sieges, what you want is loads of troops, more troops than they've got, more artillery than they've got. You guys charge down the down here and attack. See, so this is a bit of a cauldron for them. Actually, no, you do charge into there. Because I've got my militia coming down to attack you there. Good, the gatehouse is ours, so let's run. My 
militia in. It's not, to be honest, I may as well actually just charge them in from the, from the rear to try and help my pikemen. They are doing a, a valiant job holding the breach. And they're not being shot at. So Ten my guys are fire will. Let's get everyone off the wall. Attacking him in, the, him in the flank over here. Even better, let's move these guys up to actually stand in the centre spot. Let's bring these guys down here. Don't need them to do anything specifically, it's more about. Actually, no, in there's a good idea. garrison are about to rout. Oh, this could be a bit of a bloodbath over here. If these guys have run out. Yep, the entire garrison is routed. Yeah, let's end it there. Lovely stuff. So we now... There, educate. Then all the educational buildings there. Civic buildings. If we can, we can repair the Opera House. Positive. To be honest, actually, we don't even have to do, get rid of their school. Uppsala, you research. Something more second tier. Let's get these guys to try and replenish each other as much as possible. Just to try and preserve my experienced ranks somewhat. I think that's about it. I don't think anyone else can really do anything else. Cool. So depending on where they want to go, there's a few ways they can take this. They, so they can march out and try and do, do some damage to us. Or well, they, might, they may come back and try and lay siege to us. There's a lot of things they can do. So we're trying to go for next level universities. And you might go from military syllabus to start going down the fire by rank route, actually. Let's hit enter. And let's see what the Swedes do. The hope is they spin around and try and attack us. That's what we want. But what they may do is raid. Raid around the, the territory, which is... It's more frustrating, but it's less... Well, it's more frustrating and it is still fairly effective, but it's not... It's not the end of the world if they decide to do that. So... Oh, yep, yeah, Danish... Oh, this Polish priest is going to go over there and steal all our know-how. Ooh, so it looks like they're going to split their forces up. Which makes sense. So when they, their army comes to attack Sweden, we want to be able to destroy them. And I'm probably going to start raising another smaller army in Copenhagen to send east to start to clear up the marauding troops. You are losing money hand over fist. Very soon there will be no money left in your treasury. It's possible because we're There not... are several things you can do to lift yourself out of the financial mire, including raising taxes if possible. Because we may have to do this temporarily just to get ourselves out of the happiness hole. Bump up. Bump up. Up class. Oh no, they'll hate us even more. Keep it like this. So what are we on now? 1200? Can't repair that. This is a warning we're bankrupt. 
bring him over here just to at least hang out. Let's get these three line infantry to come and do something useful to try and hold some of our buildings. We want this chap to come after us but we're not going to go negative this turn. It's probably not helped by them interfering with the boarding house. Here comes another British army, ready. Um, but we're in a manageable situation. I think it's pretty manageable. Like, we're going to get 1,200 this turn. Um, Stockholm's eventually going to be happy with us being there. And then we will... Like, if they leave the boarding house, if we repair that, Stockholm will be already happy with us. We will rebuild the school, but once the resistance to occupation goes down somewhat, then we'll do that. The Spanish are saying about the Prussians are still being being frustrating boys. Yes, let's trade. And they've given us 990 to sweeten the pot. Good, Prussia, let's do that. Sounds like a good deal to me, Bob. These are up near the Finnish border. Opportunity to intercept? Absolutely. We want them to attack us. Because we've already got breaches, so they'll go straight for those. And we can just destroy them as they try and get to us. Lovely stuff. So, God, we repaired those quick. Like, we just took it. Fair enough. So, let's line up our troops. The pikes will be incredibly useful. Line up our militia. Like we can have so many troops to do stuff. Okay, you'll you'll fit in nicely there. Like that's a whole lot of troops. Might even put these guys on a corner. <laughs> um, cavalry can stay out for now. Ah, so I've taken people away from this flank. So let's do something like this. General will be inside. These guys can deal with whoever manages to make it through. Good stuff. Hey, they've actually taken down the cannon. So they have artillery, but I'm going to use my cavalry to take it out. Their dragoons have already dismounted. Okay, so let's move our cavalry out. Start to do a bit of a wide run. Holding shift, stack the orders. So they've got, yeah, they've got some mercenaries, some line infantry. Ooh, like an elite unit. With their, I don't even know what kind of hat to call that. Oh, devastating shot. So they're aiming at no section of the wall in particular. Ah, this corner bastion, okay. So let's bring you guys back here to safety. There we go, here come the first... First musket shots go in. Militia are already unhappy. Ooh, that's a good point. 
conscripts in militia all on guard mode. Don't want them running down the down the ladder after them. Let's move recovery run just to make sure they're not tempted to chase after them. These irregulars are about to be engaged. First infantry unit routed, second infantry unit is about to route. So back here they've got Dragoons, Provincial Cavalry and General's Bodyguard. Should have quite a good opportunity to actually take him out. Come on lads, you should be shooting by now I think. Fire it off, turn it on again. There we go, good stuff. So the losses are very severe compared to mine. Strangle him with his musket. Could set them to attack, but there's no point trying to kill this handful of guys for the sake of them losing my musket, shooting at the rest of their guys. Cover is smashing into the dragoons. Hey, we've actually got a got a successful attack. Up on okay, everyone go after the dragoons. So I think, haha, look at us, we're dragoons. Then suddenly, over the hill, comes 200 cavalry. Sabres raised. Cavalry's coming in. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> uh, smash into the provincial cav. They're wavering. That's a bit of a temporary sentiment. S temporary sentiment from their artillery. See their first regiment of horse versus my first regiment. We should win this engagement, even if the general gets involved. Like a football crowd back then for a second. Good, everyone else is doing it abysmally. They go through a of horse, so now go for the general. Kill their general, that would be nice. Where is he? There he is. Good, we got him. Let's break one of these cover units off, actually, to go and try and chase up. Chase after their, cav their artillery. Because this isn't just about defeating them, because now they will try and be sneaky in the open field, so it would be nice to kill as many of them as possible. I'm not so bothered about dragoons, cavalry, it's more about their infantry. That's 
they're one of the last gun teams, so I'd like to wipe out the general fairly quickly. So we can go and start to maul some of these retreating troops. Especially the regiment of foot. So that flag is the, is the trail team for the guns, but the crew are actually over here. Oh, nuts. Damn it. Unsuccessful. Also means he's done lots of damage to their army. But let's see how much actually it's done on the map. Half their troops-ish. It's not bad, but I don't think we'll be able to tempt them into coming any closer again. But I may split my garrison up, send some out, bring some back. But destroying the school will have made so much good in helping keep the get the get the territory under control. They are Protestant with me, so it's not a case of Riot there's any religious problems. As the lower orders have become too unhappy. Okay, now we can exempt them from tax for a turn. The rioters by lowering taxes, or send in the troops to put them down. Whatever you do, act quickly before, before the riot, riot becomes, becomes a rebellion. So I don't... I don't know if I want to... I don't, want, don't know if I want to experiment with... Well, first, let's take my navy and attack. Not that navy. Now let's keep them in here at least. Swedish navy. Let's repair the craft workshops. Can I build anything here? Nope. Get them replenished, it'll make them unhappy, but it will kind of put a stop to their rebellious ways. And if I move out some troops, yeah, they'll still be unhappy. It'll take me a bit, take me a bit to get them back to being cooperative, but we'll deal with that. As the Brits. Well, fortunately, actually, it should time out quite well. Once Sweden becomes happy with me, then a new British army will attack, probably attack Norway, but maybe Copenhagen. Um, to be honest, if I start making good money, it would be tempting to actually just save up, save up cash for a couple of turns and build a wall around Copenhagen. Just in case they think about trying to attack my capital. Good. Go away, Poland. So we're going to hoover up those remaining... Oh yeah, they've... that's nice of them, actually, to cluster up in one stack. So I may build... What's the best way to do this? Good, but I cannot build the next level thing with that. I can't move you out because they're very happy even with that. I don't know if we've permanently cancelled cancelled the rebellion, but I'm going to stay in there just in case. Let's move these guys over to here so I can rebuild the Bawdy House. I could build something here but I don't want to build it and knock it down again. That's my main issue with it. Okay now you start going down military syllabus to try to get fire by rank in due course. At some point we have to go up here and well at some point we have to take Finland. Maybe mess around on the continent. St. Petersburg would be nice. I would just fortify the hell out of it. Maybe build a fort here. Um 
to control the strait. So this army's not anything to worry about, but I do need to wait. Let this resistance to foreign occupation go down. Okay, everything's happy. Cool. In turn. So is this the turn that Britain attacks? Hopefully that I've got hopefully I've got the actual big um, buildings inside Stockholm repaired, they will actually be okay. They'll be happy and they'll leave it at that and they won't and they won't rebel too significantly. And don't even think about it, Ottoman Empire. Let's Yes. Let us trade. That is mutual benefit, especially as the Swedes are marching on Stockholm. It's tempting to hit auto resolve to see how many men they kill. Withdraw. It is interesting, I'm putting pressure on the Swedes from the west. And their result is they're just driving further into Russia. Hanover just beat... Oh no, they forced a retreat. It's about to say, Hanover just beat someone without losing any troops. Because their square remained... Their flag remained in perfect nick. Okay, someone destroy that. Ottoman there Navy. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Are you being taxed yet? No, you're not, so I'm earning that amount of money naturally. Okay, so what if I moved out? That many. Ooh, you're okay with that. What if I moved out that many? You're okay. What about that many? Even better. Because I want to bring as many troops with me as I can. Nope, that was a bridge too far. Good. Build some roads, because this region could do with some wealth. March into attack. Let's repair the craft workshop. Got to repair this actually a long time ago. And let's build this into a. What are you? You're a fishery, so you will be a shipyard up here protected in the Baltic. Good. Okay, so the Ottomans, what are you up to? We're very friendly. You don't like my alliance with someone. Probably Russia. But we will repel you. Maybe. Um, we've got Stockholm, which is hard as nails, especially once you get them to like you. Frederick Carlson's ready. Okay, everyone's 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 in a good position. My ministers are still decent. You've got better. You are good. Okay, end turn. Because when I've got when I've got Stockholm, I feel so much more confident because then I've got a good I've got a good amount of wealth behind me. Backing me up. And I've also got a bit more depth. And I've got a bucket load of villages and towns. So now's the time to build the school. So I need to build up my navy. Go on, Spain, take out the Ottomans, please. Yes! Yes! Not that I know they're going for me, but I hate, hate seeing troops being moved by fleets because I've got this unconscious or subconscious feeling that they're coming right for me. So wherever they are, I don't care who it is, kill them. That's what I want to see more than anything. Ah, they're coming back.
Ooh, they're attacking Morocco. Interesting. All the Russians are coming to get, engage the Swedes. Oh no! <laughs> they. Uh oh. <laughs> well, at least we know I can get to the capital in one turn. That's not as much of a problem. <laughs> Ooh, I'm actually in range to hit them. So I'm tempted to bring these guys over over to here to try and ensure this gets built. Yes, I can attack them. But I need to do a good job because they may retreat towards Stockholm. See, I want... It has to be this way. Well, let's engage them. But, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the hopeful destruction of the last Swedes in Sweden. Alright, cheers, guys.